Relations between longtime allies soured on Thursday, with Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto backing out of a meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump. Caught in the crosshairs, the North American Free Trade Agreement, which the two leaders had planned to discuss. NAFTA has been a terrible deal, a total disaster for the United States from its inception. Trump has threatened to pull out of NAFTA, a decades-old deal allowing tariff-free trade between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada because he claims it hurts American workers and tilts the playing field against the U.S. economy. Proponents of the deal say it has helped companies flourish, pushed prices down, and played a role in stabilizing Mexico. As president, Trump now has the power to negotiate or even scrap the agreement, due in large part to the 1974 Trade Act, which allows the nation's chief executive to take unilateral trade-restricting actions in the name of national interest. So what exactly is the Trump administration seeking when it comes to NAFTA? The businessman and his advisors have signaled that they want to tighten the so-called rules of origin, which dictate the percentage of a product that must be made in the Americas. For example, right now 62.5% of the material in a car that's made in Mexico must be sourced in North America for it to enter the U.S. tariff-free. But Trump could aim to boost that threshold to favor American products over car parts made in China or Japan. Trump's team has also taken issue with dispute resolution rules and Mexico's value-added tax, which Trump says is a one-side backdoor tariff. But the administration hasn't been clear about specific changes it might seek on those issues. If Trump doesn't get his way with NAFTA negotiations, he could technically withdraw from the agreement altogether, delivering a six-month notice to Mexico and Canada. Unless Mexico is going to treat the United States fairly, with respect, such a meeting would be fruitless, and I want to go a different route. We have no choice. So what if NAFTA is scrapped? Well, trade in North America would revert to rules set by the World Trade Organization, resulting in an average 5% tariff for Mexican goods going north, according to experts. But goods flowing south from the U.S. to Mexico would actually face higher tariffs. Therefore, ditching NAFTA would likely result in higher U.S. prices, fewer Mexican jobs, and sharp moves in the peso, which has already weakened about 13% since the election. But those ripple effects could take place anyway if Trump decides he wants to slap a, quote, major border tax on companies that move production to Mexico. Such a move could jeopardize NAFTA altogether and put America in violation of the World Trade Organization, 